Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Lint, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Um, last episode, I... yeah, we... if you haven't watched it already, you probably should do that. Otherwise, spoilers, I beat the first level of the Necromancer. Today, what are we going to do today? That is... Such a good question. I have no idea, to be perfectly honest. Um, I kind of feel like going for a medium mission, but I don't know. Or, not a medium, a veteran level mission, but I, I don't know. Oh man, that looks really good. Or, this. Well, I don't really need the cloak from that, but... Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. If I go... to the Warrens... What... C I could be facing some pretty nasty things. Some things that I'm... not too keen on fighting at this point in time. Uh Plus I do just kind of like the idea of a recovery charm more, but so the Book of Holiness is also really good too. Ah, uh, but I've already completed both or no wait, I haven't completed both of the bosses here. I still need to kill the Sodden crew. Mm hmm. That's an interesting one. So I still need to beat the second cove boss. I still need to beat the second ruins boss. And I still need to beat the second warrens boss. Oh my lord. Too many bosses. Too little time. Um, I really should have started fighting more of them sooner before more of my team got filled up. Uh... Let's see here. I kind of want to do a veteran mission. But at the same time, do I really want to do a veteran mission? I, I just can't make up my mind. I don't know. Maybe we just do the cove again. By again, I mean... I think literally for the first time in some time now. Uh, who do we bring along with us if we do this? Uh, I think we want... Matt? He is a cove explorer. Yeah, let, let's bring Matt along. We'll also take, um... Who else do we take? I'd like to take, like, maybe Porter. Even if Bleed isn't as good here. What do we have in our caravan? Uh, I don't really want to get rid of anyone that I have either, though. Although, if I... W I don't want to get rid of... I don't want to get rid of any of my people. This is the problem. I'm running out of space. Oh, lord. Whatever. We'll do... We'll bring Matt. We'll bring... Auber. We'll bring... Port. 
It will bring Genegris. Sure. That looks fine. Even though we have no heals. That looks fine. Let's upgrade people first, though. That's probably a wise idea. If anyone... Oh, yeah, you can get a better weapon. You can't get anything else better. Um, already upgraded. Already upgraded. Already upgraded, and we can't upgrade any of your skills. All right, then. Uh, we'll just embark, I guess. Well... Uh, provision, then embark, of course. Uh, fill up on medicinal herbs. Take a bunch of those. Take all the food we can possibly take. Uh, take a bunch of torches, especially now that we don't have a vessel tagging along with us. We'll bring, uh, bandages for bleeds. We'll take, like, uh, one skeleton key. And maybe... Nah, we don't... We don't need holy water. We'll embark. Prying eyes had become a nuisance along the old road. And so I undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments. A sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor. And a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied dinghy below. So I forgot to bring the uh, trinkets along. Chained and drowning for eternity. I can't believe, like, you have trinkets, but other than that, no one else has freaking trinkets. We even have trinkets specifically for the Houndmaster, that would have been awesome. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Oh, and yeah, let's just fight the Shambler right off the bat. That seems like a swell idea. Okay, ah, trap, but we dodge. 76. Oh, the torch going to here. No scouting, eh? Well, if I were the boss, I'd be... Probably here, but it could be there or there as well. We'll go this way. 89, 83, 77, we get caught in a trap. Watch your step. For 12 rounds? Yeah, we're getting rid of that. And we'll just pop the torch in here. Yeah. Combats. We do not have combat, but we do get some scouting. There will be combat on the way to the room ahead, but uh, for that, nothing too dangerous. Pop a torch. Hey, combat! Oh! Please don't stun. Please don't stun. Oh, that's really not good for us. Especially if we're going to be taking out these drowned thralls as soon as possible. Uh, we'll take care of you right away. Confidence yep. As the enemy crumbles. Blood in the mud. That's an excellent saying. Hounds rush on you. Not going to deal all that much damage. Unfortunately. Especially if you do like the very low spectrum of what you can do. Please just get the kill. Thank you. All right, another shocker incoming. We resist the stun, but we do get the debuff. Not that bad. Finish him off. We'll take all. We should keep moving. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. We do get more scouting. Combat behind us, as well as a room battle. It looks like as if I chose the right way if I'm trying to avoid some combat here. Oh, pack has a map inside. We have a treasure fight up ahead. Who has good trap disarm? You, you all have pretty good trap disarm. Other than our leper, of course. Okay, we'll make our way over to the 
Oh wow, scouting again. And I uh, somehow skipped the scouting animation there. I don't know how. Disarmed again. I don't know how I feel about our uh, torch situation right now. Uh, we're, we're doing fine, never mind. The light, the promise of safety. Okay, quite a few enemies, but we do surprise them, so that's a good start. Um, we'll use the throne dagger on you in the very back. Man, these low spectrum of damage. I'm not a huge fan of right now. Oh, come on. Couldn't have done like a little bit more damage there. Same with you there, buddy. Can we at least kill one enemy here? We killed one. Thank God for Matt. Stress wave. Yeah. Eldritch pull. Please resist. Uh Octasis. We dodged that. Okay. That's fine. He's dead. Throwing a dagger at you. That's fine. Uh, Hounds Rush. Yeah, Hounds of Rush. Alright. You know what? Let's do a target whistle. I like the idea of that. It will, like, chop you for 23 damage. Oh, that is... That's very nice. As the fiend falls... I, I don't want the holy wire, but I'll take it for the time being. And uh, you will open up the strong box. It is safe. More golden portraits. Sure. That Curio room battle is kind of tempting. Even though I know it really shouldn't be. Some more Cultus and a Pelagic Grouper. We surprise them, so we have a good chance of just finishing this outright. Um, let's hit this guy first. Yep, he's just dead. You... Let's see how lucky we get here. Not very lucky. So instead we throw a dagger at you for four damage? Oh, come on. How's the rush? Hounds Rush won't even kill you. Unless we got a crit, but of course we don't get a crit. Seaward Slash. Nine damage. Stressful Orientation for one. That's not so bad. We can hit. At this point, it's like, do we even... We don't waste an attack on the grouper, right? We just go for the other person? Yeah, I think that's the way we go here. I don't want to end combat right away, but at the same time, I kind of just want to get it over with. Ah, she's dead. Markham, maybe we can get one heal out before... Oh, we totally can get a heal. Yeah. Trickery. And... Oh, <laughs> Markham again! And, um, we'll cry havoc. And we'll heal. And he's dead. Perfect. Take everything that we can there. Which is literally everything. You're getting a good bit of stress damage there, Port. I'm a little worried for you. No scouting. So, with the knowledge of us not having scouting, I think we pop our firewood here. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Um, definitely do. Uh, reflection isn't as good here, though. Hmm. Not a lot of great camping skills here. Hounds watch. 
Reflection. And takedown? I don't even know if the thing that we're about to face is considered a large creature or not. So maybe we just get rid of your stress completely. And by completely, I mean by be sure of two. Okay. We'll rest. Not the best camp ever. The way is lit. The path is clear. We'll go down. We require only the strength to follow it. 88, 82, 76. Pack contains loot. More food and gold. Pop a torch, and I guess we're gonna potentially fight our boss here. Yep. Oh, he is a large thing. Okay, so he pulls us forward. It's not so bad. Drown Puller. Drown Puller still has a turn, eh? Same with the Sun Crew. He has 50% protection? Oh, that's rough. We do blight him, though. Even though our chance of doing it wasn't that great, now that I think about it. We'll mark him. He also gets the debuff there. Four to seven. Um, hundred percent move resist. That's not going to happen. Okay. So instead, we go for the chop for five damage. Ish. Drink with the dead, we dodge. Five to twelve. Let's try it because I really don't want to see what this guy does. He's going to die from the blight. Boarding clutch. Four damage and a bleed. Could be worse. Could be better, could be worse. All hands on deck. You. Or back up in front, okay. Should I even focus on the drown puller? I feel like as if I should maybe just ignore him a little bit. Okay. Some damage going on here. Boarding clutch for three. And another bleed. Starting to stack up some damage here. He's not marked anymore either. I just realized that. Dang it, Bobby. Well, he's not stunned, so that's not going to do much more for us. Hit. Eh, some decent damage there. You move up one. Boarding clutch. We dodge it. Perfect. Heave two. Um. Immobilize. Um. Um. Hmm. Huh. Masterfully executed. So every time it's his turn, he gets healed. Is that correct? Or no, just every turn he gets healed. Go oh god. That's really bad. Like literally every single turn he gets healed. Okay. Gotta stop that real fast. Can we just... Oh, this guy loses his protection when that happens. Okay. Clutch, we resist the bleed. All hands on deck. Yeah, all hands on deck are uh, main guy there. Four to nine, eh? 
or sort of a guaranteed 8 or 9 damage at the bare minimum with this. Drink with the dead. Some minor stress damage. Very minor. Eleven to twenty-four. I, I like trying to do this. And we get the maximum damage. Perfect. Heap two dodge. Uh the heap two landed. So he's gonna start healing. Drink with the dead. We dodge. Perfect. Eight to fifteen. I I think I like the I, uh, but he has the buff until then, anyways. 13 damage. Cool. Is it your turn? No, it's not your turn. So instead, we. Uh, we do one of these. That's hard. Not amazing damage, but it's damage. In clutch for five, and we bleed. Please do a very solid hit here. Oh, another 24 damage. Yep, that, that is very solid. Another boarding clutch, eh? That hurts a little bit. All hands on deck. Don't get pushed, don't get pushed, don't get pushed. We resist the push. We heal, we We finish you off. We need to do that. No, oh, and he just dies. Captain and crew. We got a book of holiness just for doing that? Bleed skill chance. May as well give that to him for the time being. Uh do we continue adventuring here? What did we miss out on? Combat room. Room battle with Curio. Something we don't know, something we don't know. It has been a very rich expedition, though. I think I use some food here. Oh. And we do a little bit of backtracking. Oh, and I should really rearrange some people here. Yeah. There we go. Probably could use some dog treats there, too. That bell did not go all too poorly, I would say. In fact, it could have gone a lot worse. Okay, first opportunity to get some more treasure already. Not a lot more treasure, but, uh... Some treasure. In radiance, may we find victory. Stingers and shaman that we surprise. This should not be bad at all, unless we have the worst freaking. <sighs> okay, that's a little bit better. You, you. Well struck. And finish you off. Ooh. Crits like crazy now. Take all of that. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Do we get a we get another surprise. Excellent. Throwing diggers. Seven damage. That's fine. Uh go after that guy for eight damage. We will chop you for a crit for 35. Yeah, that's also pretty darn good. And we'll let's rush you. Seaward Slash. We dodge. Perfect. Barnacle Barrier. Could be better. Could be worse. So 
So we'll just blight you to start off with. I know you have higher protection. It sucks, but it could be worse. Uh, nine damage. Okay, some bleeds. We'll chop Sui you for a crit of nine. Then chop Sui you a little bit more. And then you're just dead. Cool. Now, yeah, I kind of wondered if we would get a turn, but we dodged the Seaward Slash. Perfect. Not that I think we'll get the chance to make him die of bleed, especially if we get another crit for 35. But it was worth a try. Success so clearly in view. Or is um, it really a trick of the light? Yeah, we go for the room battle with Curio. It could be really good for us, especially if it is an Eldritch Altar. Could get rid of uh, Gambler, which isn't a bad quirk, but it's not like my favorite quirk either. Is struck. A blazing star is born. Oh, what do you know? A torch. I will take that. And we will make our way down here. Pop for hunger. Pop another torch. Go into here. Probably could have healed a little bit more. And that, I don't think, does anything for us, but I don't know. We'll find out. Bare minimum damage. I hate that. There we go. A bit better. Collect bounty on you. Get the kill. Perfect. And then we'll chop. Plague. Uh, we'll go for the Cultist Brawler. Didn't even get the kill on the Cultist Brawler. You failed me, Matt. Even though you are probably the MVP of this round. And by round, I mean this excursion. Oh, we'll just go for that, I think. Oh, crap, he resisted. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Perfect. We are... G-R-A-B-Y gravy. Take all that. These and this creatures thing... They can does this just give eaten. us a buff? It could give us... A stress heal as well, so if that's the case... Port. Give this a try. Stress seal. Perfect. I do not feel like going all the way back there, so we will end. Not a lot of gold. Especially for how much we spent uh, preparing for this mission. But I think... The heirlooms are well worth it this time. You got a freaking disease, Matt? Oh, we have to get rid of that. Orange Explorer, God Fearing, and Warrior of Light. Okay. Well. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Light. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. Well, we will find Matt. Oh, no, wait. This is not... Oh, I apologize for that. Not the place we were looking for. Get rid of that. Um... So, the only tank we have left for boss fights is Cam. Am I thrilled about this? Not really. Not at all. Which is making me think that we might want to get rid of, like, say, Bourneville for a tankier person if we have the choice. We could for the time being take a man at arms uh, but he doesn't really have the skills I like. 
Like, he has Crush. He does have Rampart. Bellow isn't bad. Not my favorite skill, but it's not bad. Uh... Gunnard. Zoophobia. Not very good if uh, our prospects are going to both the Ruins and the Warrens. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately we can't possibly take you. Thornville, I'm sorry. You're cool and all, but we can't afford to take you at the moment. Send this one to journey elsewhere. For we have need of sterner stock. It's only... Okay. It's only my third man-at-arms at the moment, but... Still, that's way too many man-at-arms. What... What do we do next episode? We either do a... Purify the altar... Or we could do this. Um, not a huge fan of that, but... Uh, Plague Doctor. Ooh. Ooh. Mixed feelings about that one as well. And that one is not bad as well. I, uh, we don't even have an abomination yet. Or any more, I should say. But... I'm kind of... Digging the idea of doing... The purify the altars mission next time just so we can get that uh, next boss battle up and running even though ports bleed is not gonna do us much good uh, geez well we'll at least have the blight from Canagris and some damage from Otter. Other than that, though, I think that will probably do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you made it to this point in the video, feel free to support in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot and shows that you want to continue to watch this series. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you can always subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload any new content, whether it is of this or of any other kind. And until next time, as always, everyone, have a good one, and I will see you next time in the darkest dungeon.